And uh, thankfully, my deck is now back in action. So we should be able to do everything we need to. There's some elite hunters here. Let's get a destroyer. Let's get all kinds of wonderful things to defend our little friend here. <laughs> yes, the gatekeeper. He's a very large friend, is he not? Hello reformers and welcome to a special feature of Golem Gates. This is a game that will be out, well, as this video releases probably. And you can check the link in the description for the Steam store page. Anyway, this is a hybrid game of RTS and, well, cards. You kind of have cards, but you kind of also have units that you can spawn into the game world. And then you can use those units Similarly to how you would in, for example, StarCraft or Age of Empires, things like that. So we're going to just go into Chapter 2 here. I've completed this before, just so that you can see a bunch of the basic gameplay mechanics without the tutorial messages, because I've already gone through that. As you can see, I've actually unlocked Chapter 4. We have a starter deck here. I've added a couple of cards to it because you do gain rewards and... Just bear in mind that there are a number of different modes you can play. You can play versus online, you can play survival co-op with other people, and you can also play trials. Trials are the harder variant of the game, and campaign is kind of the single-player story giving you a little bit of insight as to what we're actually doing here. Alright, so as you can see here, we have our chapter 2 ready, and you can start with glyphs. Now, technically, they're not called cards, they're kind of called glyphs, but y y you see where I'm going with this. Anyway, we're going to go and remove fireball, structural shock, which does damage to structures, which we don't necessarily need right away. I'm also going to take away 3 for 1, and we're just going to use these units right here. As you can see, there is actually a little bit of a time limit, so I did not get that done in time because I was trying to explain things, but it's okay. It's absolutely fine. We should be perfectly fine without it. So there is a constant fog of war, by the way, as well. So we will be unable to see the enemies as they approach, unless you have structures and various other things in the way. So what we're going to do is we're going to spawn a couple of these things. We can only spawn units, by the way, in line of sight or where we have vision, basically. So anytime you have a glyph available that is unit-based, you need to have vision of that area before you can summon them. And so we're just going to basically summon a whole army here. And then we're going to go over to the nearest generator. Destroy that very, very quickly. This is one of the more difficult levels, by the way. I know it wouldn't seem like it. But personally, I had a bit of difficulty completing this the first time around. Not entirely sure why that would be, but I did. Anyway, what we're going to do is we're going to go up to this area here first. And... We've already eliminated one of these, which is perfectly fine. Now, the one thing that we have to watch out for is the enemy wanting to attack my Harbinger. My Harbinger is my hero unit, which is the basis for basically everything that I can do. The Harbinger, if he dies, we lose. So that's something to take into account. And obviously you do have to bear in mind that without him, we also are unable to regenerate our energy. And that is what is enabling us to even summon units in the first place. So I'm going to use one of these turrets right here and try and build that so that it can protect the 
energy generator, basically, because there are various energy points on the map that you can control to increase your energy generation, to increase your energy capacity, and all things like that, which is going to obviously make things a lot easier for you because you're going to be able to summon more and more units and you can see here that I've actually just run into a fire trap which is not very good. We've destroyed the enemy's turret but I, thankfully I have a heal bot at the back here. It's able to heal 38 HP per second which is pretty fantastic. That means most of my units are going to survive and we're going to be able to kill this generator and now the enemy as you can see is actually starting to spawn in a bunch of units of his own so yeah we might have a, a little bit of a difficulty getting through that but I'm actually gonna summon some wardens here wardens are a little bit stronger than the normal normal unit and we're gonna tell them to go over well I was actually gonna tell them to just go over here straight off but maybe we should tell them to go over to the other direction mmm I'm not entirely sure see that's the thing you have gotta make decisions on whether you wanna be aggressive or whether you want to just get as much energy generation as possible so what I'm gonna do now is I'm actually gonna use one of our abilities to make our one of our wardens have more HP and more damage and you can only do that once for one one unit in a particular squad by the way so yes now our harbinger is actually under attack which should be fine because I think we have the opportunity to use some fiery death spells and everything and our harbinger is not defenseless it is pretty pretty yeah, well defended a little bit I guess I mean the one problem we're having now is that I have no units back there which is a big issue but thankfully I have now taken down the enemy's shields and now we can destroy the Golem Gate, which is the main base of the enemy and of us as well, kind of. I mean, the Harbinger is really the main base, kind of, so it's more in keeping with that. And I'm just going to use a Fireball there to eliminate the units that are attempting to kill us while our reinforcements come in from behind and try to eliminate them. Going to try and get a, a mine here as well. Do bear in mind that there is friendly fire as well. So if you do decide to use fireballs and various other things in the general vicinity of your units, you're going to take some damage. Oh yes, you are going to take some damage. All right, I'm going to get a pulse cannon built here because I already have another turret over there as well. And this pulse cannon does a lot of damage and is also capable of having a knockback kind of attack so that's pretty pretty useful and what we're gonna do now is we're gonna just rush the base of our opponent and I'm gonna try and summon this destroyer as well this is a huge siege unit which is capable of dealing massive damage to structures and indeed groups of units as well I'm actually just going to try and fortify this area a little bit. You can see here that the, <laughs> the enemy does have a couple of units that we might want to be a bit wary of, but I'm hopeful that we'll be able to destroy the enemy's... There we go. Destroy the enemy's destroyer. <laughs> yes. Before he's able to destroy ours. And all we need to do now is just continue to advance our units. And, ah, my destroyer got killed before I was able to level him up appropriately. Ah, that's kind of a shame. Oh, well, never mind. Okay, so we might have some issues here. I'm going to try and level up our heal bot a little bit here. Do you think I can actually do that? Oh, maybe maybe I can't do that to the heal bot. But yeah, you can see here that we're having a couple of difficulties. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to pull back. Because I don't want all of my units to go down in defense of us attacking the golem gate so what I'm gonna do is just gonna pull back a little bit resummon some of our units here we're gonna get a whole whole bunch of them and then we're gonna go back in once we have fully healed ourselves a little bit and maybe clear out some of the enemy's units when we return as well let's get oh yeah okay so the, this guy yeah th this destroyer guy is certainly gonna do huge amounts of damage to us if we allow him to stay alive now we can continue to do damage to the Golem Gate. And, oh yes, this is my favorite unit, by the way. It's a gelatinous orb. And basically it just runs around with one, one bit of itself. And then when it dies, it splits into two orbs. And then they continue attacking and things like that. So that is really, really fun to use. I only have one of those, unfortunately. But you can get three of each glyph. 
And uh, there we have it. Yes, we have previously completed it, of course, so I'm not going to be getting any rewards or anything like that. But that has hopefully given you an idea of what the basic gameplay is actually consisting of. Otherwise, we're going to go back to the main menu now, and we're going to take a look at the new mission that I haven't yet done, which is to unlock the gateway to Meramoth's domain. So there we have it. You can see that that is actually Meramoth right there, taunting us a little bit. And I need to uh, I need to act pretty quickly here, so I'm going to try and... I think that should be fine. Let's swap those. Hmm. Okay, that, that seems fine. I mean, I have the gelatinous orb, and my favorite thing to do with the gelatinous orb is to upgrade it immediately, so it's even tougher to kill. Wow, that's a lot of pieces to gain for us, isn't it? Anyway, what we're going to do immediately is, well, we're going to move our Harbinger down here to get one of these energy generators, and we're going to have to fight a bunch as well. Yes, I know the Harbinger is under attack. That's absolutely fine. Let's start building one of these. Hopefully the opponent is not going to snipe it immediately and kill it. And once our energy is back up, what we're going to do is hopefully try to get a gelatinous orb up and then all the all that wonderful stuff. Yes, hopefully. Hmm, yeah, now obviously these various energy generators here, they're kind of like King of the Hill style capture, so if they are, shall we say, taken back by the opponent, which they can be, then you lose obviously all the energy generation that you're going to gain from it. So you've got to be pretty active in the amount of defense and attack that you're doing. So anyway, I'm going to send my gelatinous orb over here to take one of the other energy generators, and then we're going to place one of these things right here. Now this is the item that I literally just unlocked, which is a control lock, basically. So you can build one of these on your control point, which is obviously where we are right now, and that prevents anyone from taking it until they have destroyed the control lock, which is pretty fantastic. So. What we're going to do now is we're going to tell these guys to go over here, kill this generator. Well, shall we say, kill the kill the lock thing, the, the generator lock. Well, it's technically a shield, I suppose, but anyway. We're going to continue to advance our fellows here as well. Elite Hunters. Now, these guys I've also just unlocked, so this is going to be pretty fun to see how they do. My gelatinous orb is over there and just keeping us well within control of that. And, yeah, we are destroying this, but we're having some difficulties. We're having a couple of difficulties here, so I might actually have to deal some damage with our damage over time effects. Hopefully we can run away a little bit, maybe do some damage, turn around and just take them out. And I'm hopeful that we might be able to survive here. I'm not entirely sure if we will be able to. Ooh, that was close. Ah, I almost had enough vision to get those guys dead, but no such luck. Alright, well, we have control of two spots. 
And we do technically have one piece of the gatekeeper, so that is fine with me. Now what we're going to need to do is maybe we'll meet up with the gelatinous orb, or maybe we'll go and defend. It really depends. I'm going to get a heal bot up here as well, just in case. And I think we're going to go with the gelatinous orb, and we're going to try and destroy one of these generators. Do bear in mind, I haven't completed this mission yet, so it may very well end in a failure. But we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Okay, these guys are firing from outside the range of what we are capable of hitting, so I'm going to need to go over there and take them out. Oh, there we go. They destroyed that. Uh, my gelatinous orb is just fantastic. I absolutely love using these. It's really, really powerful. And I feel like even if it goes down, which it probably is at some point, even if it goes down, it really doesn't matter because it then splits into two others and it's just crazy good. So anyway, we're going to continue to summon people here. And can you just die? Ah, is that guy literally wanting to just stay alive for that long? Well, obviously he does. Let's send these guys over here to kill this generator. Uh, my gelatinous orb. Yeah, there we go. We got it. Nice. Alright, so we're being beset upon by some pretty large units here, but I've summoned my own large units to deal with them. And as you can see, we've eliminated for the most part everything except the generator that is keeping hold of our gatekeeper's head. So we're going to go and get that in just a second. Ooh, they've got a heal bot. Take out the heal bot, please. There we go. Kill the heal bot. Yes, the heal bots. The enemy can have all of your units as well, by the way, so you do have to be a bit careful of that. Okay, so let's just get these guys dead, and hopefully we'll then be able to go onward. Do bear in mind that once this counter reaches zero, by the way, I will have to reshuffle my glyphs and will then have to be completely inactive for 15 seconds. And that means that I cannot command my units. I cannot move my harbinger. I cannot do anything in that time. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and stun that little thing there. And hopefully we'll be able to kill that destroyer. Yes, there we go. All right, let's try and buff one of these guys up as well. And let's get another couple of summons in here. Let's tell this to stop attacking. We have a whole bunch of different glyphs that give me so much utility that it is really helping us out here. Okay, can we please just kill that turret finally? I do need to go over here and kill this. So it would be nice if we could do that sooner rather than later. Hmm... Where can I spawn these guys? Over here. Oh yes, by the way, we also have a boss glyph. Yes, a boss glyph which is in the form of a spider king. Yes, a spider king is, well, available to us, which is pretty fantastic. So if we can maybe, maybe we can take this. If we can take this, then I might be able to summon the spider king right here. Let me just summon it right now. Why not? Summon it right now. And we're gonna we're gonna give a heal bot to it as well, so it's even more powerful. And then we're gonna be in a really really good spot. Ooh, could you not die? I would appreciate it if the Spider King would not die. Oh my, yeah, that would be pretty bad. Okay, it seems like we might be actually attempting to take this and being relatively successful at it as well. Ah, these guys are attempting to take this back. That's not very nice. Do you think I can... Oh, I don't think I can actually kill them before it's too late. So it seems like what I'll have to do is just take this, fortify this a little bit. Let's build a build a turret. There we go. My Spider King is still alive. Hopefully the heal bot will start to get it back up to full HP. And we'll destroy the last generator. And I do have some fireballs here. Bear in mind that I have no more glyphs. As you can see, when empty, press the shuffle and replenish the glyph book. So in other words... I have nothing else to use apart from these things here. I'm going to summon a destroyer to help us out with destroying this last generator here. And I'm going to actually use the shuffle now. And as you can see, my units will continue attacking, but I cannot command them to do anything. I'm clicking right now and nothing's happening.
is opening the gateway. You must protect him. Alright, so we have a bonus objective here to protect him. And uh, thankfully, my deck is now back in action, so we should be able to do everything we need to. There's some elite hunters here. Let's get a destroyer. Let's get all kinds of wonderful things to defend our little friend here. <laughs> yes, the gatekeeper. He's a very large friend, is he not? Okay, so we're actually going to have to tell this guy to begin attacking these fellows because they're... Wow, they're absolutely murdering him. Wow, that is, that's not very nice. That's not very nice at all. Okay, so let's get one of these guys up here. Boost one of them, and we do have two fireballs as well, so we should be fine to defend. Gonna put a mine over here as well. Okay, let's uh, shuffle a little bit. Let's get another one of these things. Another turret. Okay, here they come. Here they come. Okay, where's my spider king? My spider king is actually here. Let's get another heal bot. Oh, we're gonna be invincible at this rate. Okay, I'm just going to continue reshuffling my glyphs here just to see if I can get something more useful. More units, more units, that's what we need. And hopefully I'll be able to get a fireball to use on this group here. There we go. Oh, that was some damage. Oh yes, that was exactly what we want to see. Okay, so everyone seems okay. Uh, where's my heal bot? Seems like my heal bot might have died. No, there it is. Why are you not healing the destroyer? Ah, never mind. Oh well, I think it's okay. Ooh, another spider king. Do you think we can actually summon another spider king? That would be pretty crazy. If we're able to get another spider king, I think this this game is pretty much won, but it really depends on if we're able to. Oh, it's gonna be interesting. Ah, okay, okay, here we go, here we go. I'm gonna need to use my fireball here. Need to wait for my energy to come back. This is the importance of having the energy that is definitely it yes I did fail that wow the gatekeeper is going down very very quickly right here I'm not entirely sure if I'm gonna be able to survive for the next three minutes and 30 seconds it seems like I'm not able to for some reason I don't know why I mean I did build a couple of turrets and things so maybe uh, maybe I just needed to do more and maybe we should wait, actually. We should probably wait and see what else I need to use here. My Spider King is still alive, so that's good. And we seem to actually clear them out pretty easily, but then they just come from another direction, and that kind of messes us up. So maybe we're going to need a little bit of extra help here. Hmm, maybe not that. Okay, I'm going to spawn some other people on the other side here. I'd like to get, as I say, I'd like to get enough to be able to summon the Spider King. How much do I actually need? Seems like it does, ah, 400. Ah, oh, I need 400. I have 200 right now, so that's not particularly good, but yeah, it just has such an amazing ability. It has an ability to reanimate your friendly units as far as I'm aware, so that is pretty crazy. And if we can get another one up, that is going to make all the difference. Now... It could reanimate enemy units too, which would be even better. So let me summon one. Can I do it? Seems like I cannot do it. Which is... Now, this unique glyph is already in play. Alright, well, that's unfortunate. Now, oh, there's another destroyer coming in. Two minutes. Two minutes to go. Do I have enough? I don't think so somehow. I, I don't think I do. But who knows, maybe we'll be able to do it. Going to get a pulse cannon going on there and something else here. Another 1 minute and 30. Hmm, I don't know. I really don't know about this. Uh, this control lock glyph is not very useful to me right now. Certainly not. I mean, I might be able to... Wait, my gelatinous orb is still alive. Ah. Come on, over here, gelatinous orb. You want to consume all of these enemies? Yes. That's what we want. Okay, let's build another one of these things right here. And my gelatinous orb is now going to get healed by the heal bot. Oh, yeah. That's what we like to see. Go and heal it. Heal it. Yes. Yes. 
Okay. We seem we seem we seem all right. Uh, another one of these. Okay, we'll put another one on there, and this is now being taken, annoyingly enough. But I can't really do anything about that. So we're going to have to go even further down in our energy regeneration. But I have another gelatinous orb, and I do have the ability to give it extra HP. So I have two of these. Ah, oh, never mind. One of them actually did die, but that's okay because we now have another one. So 20 seconds. I think we should be able to do this. I think we are going to survive this. And then our mission will be done and we'll be able to get to Merrimoth's dimension or something along those lines. Mm, I'm going to build a poison trap around here, build some more units in this direction, just to make sure that we have advance warning, just in case. Right, so I'm just going to shuffle my deck before we, you know, decide to actually take the plunge. Oh dear! Oh, this is, this is not good. This is not good at all. Destroy the hero wave. An enemy summoned hero. Oh dear. Alright, well, uh, I guess we're going to try it. We're going to try it. Well, that was kind of easy. With the fireball, of course. Okay, let's tell all of these guys to get over there and actually assist us. I mean, I think we should have this in the bag, but it's really just a case of us making sure all of our units stay alive, and eh, that might be easier said than done. There we go. We've stopped that Spider King from actually attacking. He actually has a Spider King as well, so that is something we definitely need to focus fire down but I think they have also they also have a heal bot but I think we've taken it down no problem at all because we do have this huge gatekeeper helping us I'm just going to continue summoning really really big units Did I really just give my Spider King the extra HP buff? That is pretty crazy. Alright, I'm going to summon one of these incinerator towers nearby here as well. Let's get a heal bot up so that we can make sure our Spider King stays alive. Oh, there we go. Well, there it is. Wow. And if you'd like to check out this game, there is a link in the description. I thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time.